Ah ja. Ah, ja. <lacht>
The talking billboards, for one. I'm just reading everything like, as I go. But yeah, the thing is with Japan, you have to read up, don't you? Yeah. Because each building has about 10 different shops in it, so. Anime fandom shop. Wow, it's five floors. Five floors. That's crazy. All right, we're going to uh, have a go at Mario Kart. So we couldn't do the actual Mario Kart racing, right? <laughs> because we didn't have our international driving licenses, so we'll just do this one instead. Yeah, this is 200 yen for, I'm assuming, one lap or one go. All right, we're in. Oh, my legs are too long. All right, let's put the money in. We'll have a go. <laughs> hey, there's you. I don't know what to do here. You choose the track. Alright, I'm going to put the camera away now. Alright, that was close. Very close. <laughs> That was really good. That was one of the most sexy red thing I've ever done. It was loud, wasn't it? It was like everything I've grown up playing on my Nintendo with every ride. This <laughs> one. <laughs> Alright, so we're now in the retro area, which is on the sixth floor. What well, used to be the Sega building. And it's almost just like a, it's a, it is a time machine of... Uh, the dance mat thing. Oh, the dance, the dance mat, yeah. Thing? And everyone had them at home, and I haven't seen a dance mat in years. But they're, they're taking it so serious, it's, it's, which is amazing. The, there was the two guys on a dance mat, and they were sweating. And they brought their own gym towels, they were in like gym wear, and... In the UK, this just wouldn't be a thing. You would have an arcade, and it'd just be like a gimmick. But this is like ramped. So you've got like uh, Pac-Man, um, obviously machines are like not working because they're so old. I bet they have to have like special people to come in, but I, rem I remember this is my favourite, Time Crisis, absolutely loved that. 50p? 50p, we'll have That's a go. With the UK, that would be like £3. Yeah. So it wouldn't be 50p anymore. Yeah. Gonna I'm going to have a go on time crisis. Let one more walk grounds. But yeah, this is, I don't know. I think maybe because um, they have access to more machines here because this is where they were from, cup noodle machine. Um, this is where they originated from. So maybe they've got so many more. I also think as well, they've got more spare parts. Yeah. So when all of these old machines start breaking, because there's so many of them, they have more to fix. Whereas in the UK, when these machines break, we don't have the spare parts to fix them. Um, but it's like, I don't know, my, my head's going wild here. I remember this. How do you swap guns? Spent longer in than we should have. <laughs> We've just come out. It feels like leaving a casino at five in the morning. Yeah. It's really bright. It was all dark in there, but not dark, but no no sunlight. All right, we have stopped for a bit of ramen and some gyoza. Um, we walked through Tokyo Station. It took about three hours to get through, uh, and got my 
t-shirt for Disney, which is Baymax. <laughs> um, yeah, we walked through the Disney store in Tokyo Station and I still need to get my t-shirt for going to Disneyland. Erin's got hers, she's got a retro one, vintage. Um, £25 though. It was £25. Yeah, this is my, it was the last one, it was my size, it's a good fit lengthwise. Now we're going to have some ramen and then go to the world's biggest Uniqlo Twelve ever. Floors. Twelve floors of these. <laughs> Twelve floors of this. Here's my little ramen. Cost. Drum roll please. Three pounds. Three pounds. And we're underneath like an old, well not an old, <laughs> we're in underneath an active train station so you can hear it go past. Right, we've just spent the last four hours in here. <laughs> just to give you a bit of the scale of what it's like. Ooh. There we go. Uniqlo flagship store. Twelve like stories? Uniqlo tube store. Ha! Good one. Erin got two tops. And I got the Raymond t-shirt. <laughs> oh, it's all kicking off down here. going on? What is going on? So we've just got off the metro and we've stumbled across the coolest street ever. Near? Near Piss Alley? Piss Alley. This, that is the name of it. I promise you. This is just so cool. Yeah, so I think it's called Piss Alley because it's where I think people used to um, like obviously go and drink and didn't find a toilet. I think there were like some brothels and stuff. There's like a big history to it. But yeah, it's super cool down here. Show them the hoogie cam. Look, there we go. Oh, fake disposable camera. And then. <laughs> you don't have to wait to get it developed as well. <laughs> it's raining, so the screens are a bit wet. There you go. Look at that. Disposable camera photo, but not carry around disposable camera. Genius. So we're just going to find somewhere to have a quick beer. Not a quick beer, actually. Leisurely beer. Got nothing to do today. But each, like, stall, or each shop is just so different. It's so cool. We'll keep on having a little wander down. It's funny, normally this is the opposite. Smoking is prohibited outside, but you can smoke inside. So we have chosen to have a little drink. We've got our lemon sour. Come to Tokyo's oldest bakery um, for some melon bread. Bakery from the outside. Lots of people in there. That's Jason. <laughs> it's called Kim Uriah. Smells so good in there. Sweet beans. Still don't love red beans in bread or pastry. Still haven't really like taken to the idea. Oh, sandwiches look nice. Wow. Egg salad sandwich. Oh, I really don't know what to have now. Konnichiwa. Wow. Melon bread, there it is. That is what I've come for. The melon bread. Well, there's melon bread with cream or just melon bread? Oh, the melon bread doesn't have a filling. This has melon cream in it. I'm going to get that one. Melon bread with cream. Yeah. What about you? You can still try the bread, can't you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the croissants and everything look amazing. It's funny, we were literally just next door yesterday. Didn't even yeah. know it was here. Matcha scone. You see that? Yeah, there's one up there. Cream or just jam? Just jam. Just jam. Uh, one melon bread with, with cream. Five pounds for three items in Japan, no, Tokyo's oldest bakery. 
Cool. Not bad. Oh, quite an expensive area. Yeah. Quite an expensive area. Yeah, it's in Ginza, which is like the shopping district. So I think we're like opposite like Gucci. <laughs> Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Typically, you're not allowed to eat on the street in Japan, but you are allowed to eat outside the establishment where you bought the food from. So if there's no seating or whatever, you can eat and drink, but just outside, and then you give your rubbish to the shop. So we're going to try this melon bread. Bite it. Mmm. Wow. That was really sweet. This is going to be so obvious, but the only way to explain it is it is bread that tastes like melon. <coughs> Obviously. Tough. Oh yeah. Right, hard on the top, soft on the inside. Now I want to try to find some of the cream. Oh wow. What does it taste like, melon cream? <laughs> wow. That is absolutely amazing. Mmm. I really like that. It's a few days later, and uh, there we go, just snuck in, not snuck in. So if you want to see the Shibuya crossing from above and not pay anything, <laughs> Go up to Starbucks, up again, and then come straight back down, and you'll go into the exit that's paid. Lock us up and throw away the key.